Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Today I'm going to start the first of four reviews for a hot sauce company located in Houston, Texas. Now the name of the company is the Bravado Spice Company and I'm going to start off with their pineapple and habanero hot sauce. Just an awesome classic combination uh, for a hot sauce. Now I just love the logo, uh, love the label here. Very nicely done, very clean. It really stands out, it pops. Uh, just a really nice job on this one. Now the Bravado Spice Company, Bravado, a name that was chosen by these guys because it implies stupid and brave. Uh, brave, uh, definitely, because these two guys left their full-time jobs to uh, start the Bravado Spice Company, I believe, back in 2012. Stupid? I don't think so, because uh, these guys are definitely making a name for themselves right there in the Houston area, landing several big accounts. They're in a lot of restaurants there, a lot of bars, and these guys aren't playing around. Uh, they want to uh, become a national brand, and I think it, the, the way they're going about it, they are going to accomplish their goals. Now, these guys, here's a picture of them, childhood friends, um, James Nelson and Jeremy Tollerine. Uh, there's a picture of them right there uh, at the uh, California Hot Sauce Expo recently. Now you can find out on their website, uh, these guys have got quite the story. Uh, James was on season four of MasterChef. I just love that show. I believe he got a call from the producers back in 2012, uh, shortly after the company was started to, uh, to uh, attend or be uh, uh, on that show. And James made it all the way to number five, which is just incredible, just an awesome accomplishment. And you can also watch the season premiere, uh, episode one of Billion Dollar Buyer. And you can watch James and uh, Jeremy battle it out with Tillman Fertitta. And that show, that was just awesome. Um, you got to watch that. These guys landed a, a, a account uh, with uh, Tillman and his company, the Bubba Gump Shrimp uh, Company. So that was just awesome. I mean, these guys, you got to watch that episode. These guys didn't compromise at all. They did end up changing the vinegar that's, that was in the recipes, and I think that's a good move that we'll talk about here in a minute. Uh, but uh, they, they didn't comp compromise on uh, the changing the label. Uh, I think Tillman wanted something a lot bigger with Bubba Gump shrimp on there, but uh, uh, they weren't going to have any of that. So just an awesome uh, job. Guys, you got to watch that episode. So let's go ahead and get into this one. Um, pineapple and habanero, once again, are really awesome combination for a hot sauce. Let me read the side of the bottle here. It says, undeniably bold, a blend of fresh pineapple and fiery habanero. This sweet and spicy sauce is packed with only real chilies and fruit. Sometimes nature uh, hands you an ace in the hole. All right. Now the ingredients on this are very low in sodium. Now one thing I really noticed and one thing that they're really uh, focused on is using all natural, all fresh, locally produced, locally sourced ingredients. They've been doing that for many years now and I think that's just awesome. Uh, ingredients on this is pineapple, habanero, yellow bell pepper, white wine vinegar, garlic, and sea salt. Now one thing I believe that came uh, about as a result of Billion Dollar Buyer is uh, changing up the vinegar. They were originally using distilled uh, white vinegar. Now, I don't have a problem with vinegar. Uh, but uh, sometimes distilled white vinegar can come across as a little bit harsh, a little bit sour. Uh, white wine vinegar can really change things up a little bit. I think that was an awesome change. Um, it could be, it's a little more subtle, uh, it's a little bit more sweet, uh, it's a little bit more gentle, and it definitely kind of has more of a lemony type flavors to it. So it's an awesome choice uh, for a hot sauce. But once again, this label here is really awesome. 100% vegan. Uh, five ounces, uh, go Texan, you can see there at the bottom. And uh, it says separation is natural, don't fight it, shake it. Uh, so no xanthan gum in here, no preservatives, everything's all natural. And I just really love the color on this one, guys. Uh, it just looks awesome. Uh, consistency is not super, super thick, as you can see, uh, but it's definitely got some, some thickness to it because you can see how it kind of sticks and, you know, clouds the... Uh, the bottle a little bit, but it's definitely pourable. All right, and I love the choice of yellow bell peppers in here, which can kind of really, uh, you know, preserve the color in a sauce like this and also uh, balance out the sweetness of everything. Now, the aroma on this one is just incredible. I really like this because 
you definitely smell fresh pineapple. And there's no added sugar in here. I mean, this stuff is amazing because you're just getting the natural sweetness from the pineapple. Uh, and also behind that, you can kind of smell uh, kind of the, the fieriness of the habaneros in a way. You can tell that there's some heat in this hot sauce. But you're definitely getting a nice, fresh blast of um, pineapple. And you're getting a little bit of tartness, a little bit of that uh, vinegar, white wine vinegar aroma, which is nice. But it's not strong in vinegar at all. Uh, the garlic kind of is in the background just a little bit. Uh, but really, really nice. All right, let me show you what this one looks like. A beautiful color to this one. All right, here we go. Wow. Pineapple pineapple sweetness followed by the sting a little bit of a sting a little bit of a heat from the um, uh, habanero peppers I think the yellow bell peppers in here I just love bell peppers in a hot sauce once again the choice of yellow is just brilliant because you're preserving the color uh, it gives it a nice balance a nice savory balance to everything else uh, yeah, this is a very well-balanced hot sauce, one thing I, I uh, really notice about it. Garlic is kind of in the background a little bit. Salted perfectly. Um, it's just really natural, fresh tasting. It, the pineapple, the habaneros, the savoriness of the bell peppers and the garlic, uh, just very well blended, blended very well balanced. Um, just amazing. Um, I like the fact that it's just naturally sweet from the pineapple. It is definitely not a sweet, super sweet sauce but just nice and fruity with the natural sweetness from the pineapple. And you know, you taste pineapple fresh, it's sweet. Uh, you don't need to add any uh, sugar to it. But let me show you what I did with this one, guys. One of my favorite breakfasts is a Hawaiian breakfast, and I love Spam, so that's what this is. Here's a picture of it. You have fried rice, you have some fried Spam, and then you've got some, some eggs sunny side up, and just incredible with this hot sauce on there. The pineapple and habanero, really complimented the spam the fried rice the eggs it just really was uh, super super good together but you know i think this hot sauce would be good on some uh, bubba gump shrimp some coconut uh, bubba gump shrimp fried shrimp any type of fish anything you'd want to put a pineapple hot sauce on i think it would just be awesome so this one uh really impressed me i'm giving this a 10 out of 10 for flavor this is really well done very very good and on heat um you know, these guys are not about making super, super hot sauces. Uh, they're all focused on flavor, and I like the fact that that's what they did with the habanero. It's not stingy, stingy hot. It's there. You can taste it. You can tell that it's there. Uh, so on flavor, uh, once again, 10 out of 10 for heat. Uh, just give this about a 3 out of 10 for heat. Nice heat, but on the mild side. But uh, somebody might think it's a little bit more spicier for the non-chili head. But uh, James and Jeremy, awesome job on this. Thank you very much for sending it. This is a winner. Uh, check this company out, guys. Give them a like on Facebook, and you can find them at bravadospice.com. So make sure you check them out, and stay tuned for the other three reviews. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.